to the video lecture on creating data entry forms. Um, for the purposes of this project, I want this, uh, I'm expecting this to be as uh, quick and easy as possible. So uh, I'm not going to get into uh, the actual design of forms. Uh, what I want you to do is I want you to be able to create uh, data entry forms that you are going to actually be able to use to change data. Uh, as part of uh, the success of the project is going to be my ability to use your forms uh, to create records. Uh, so we're going to do it the easy way. It's very, very easy. So first things first, you need to have all your relationships set up. Right? You ha if your relationships are set up properly, using the quick technique for creating uh, data entry forms is going to make life a lot easier easier okay so if that's all well and good then creating these forms should be very very easy so for instance if I click on the student table and I have it highlighted and I go to the create tab there are a number of buttons I can press to create forms okay the very first one is called a uh, uh, an auto form so if I have a table highlighted and I click on form, that first one, it will create a data entry form for me. And because I have my, um, my relationship set up properly, the student table also has a sub form for enrollments. So I can notice that uh, in the sub form, it doesn't have the student ID. And that's because the database management system, in this case Microsoft Access, is going to maintain that for me. So, um, so we have our student table, right? If I click on offering, right? So now I have offering highlighted. I can go back to the create tab, click on that form again, and now I have an offering form, data entry form. Notice it also has the ability to put in enrollments okay so I need to be able to go into the student form and now what you're going to see uh, on the bottom uh, are record selectors so see down here at the bottom right all the way down here at the bottom let me get there it says, it says current record at the bottom down there are what are known as uh, record navigation buttons so if I highlight uh, the next record button I will move to the next record. So now if I click next record, I move to Mary Smith. Okay. Um, the forms right now, because we're using that tool to create them, are not live forms. So if I go back to design, you'll notice uh, that the view um, is not the form view. So when I drop that down, this is what's known as layout view. And layout view allows you uh, to move controls around and do all sorts of stuff. We're not going to do any of that. Uh, that's beyond the scope of this course. Simply want you to understand that now we are creating the graphical user interface for our end users to use our database. Uh, this is going to allow us to put controls in place, uh, more controls than we would be able to put in place as far as data integrity um, and ease of use. Uh, we're gonna get, those are all advantages of creating a GUI interface for your end users. There are other things beyond, uh, along with that, but uh, for our purposes. So you'll notice that I can't actually click in and change any data. It doesn't let me because I'm in layout view. In order to do that, I have to be in form view. So again, when I drop down this dialog and I click on form view, now it changes. So now see how I can actually go in Notice that student ID works just like a table. I cannot edit the student ID. That's an auto number. But everything else I can edit. So if, if I backspace over the H in Smith, notice that the record selector, this guy over here, turns into the pencil. Same way as it worked in the table. Right? Because this form is based on the table. Right? So as I and then I can go down to the bottom and move off of this record to the previous record and I'm back to Michael Devlin and that saves the record just the same way it would happen on 
uh, the table. Also notice if I start here and I start with uh, the student ID, as I tab it behaves the same way. As soon as I tab off of the form, it moves to the second record automatically. And then I tab through Mary Smith, and when I tab off, I get to the new record. So I can use this for data entry. So now I can make a John Smith record. Hit my space bar, and it puts in a checkbox. Again, I, I prefer to work from the keyboard. Uh, the register date, we'll say 1 slash 1 slash 2011. Oop. Keep using the wrong <laughs> keypad. If I hit escape, it gets me out of there. So 1 slash 1 slash 2011. Registration fee is another $300. GPA, we don't know what the GPA is yet. And if I tab off, notice now, now on the bottom where it says current record, I'm on 404, even though I only have three records. So if I go to previous record, that changes back to three of three. And then in the offering ID, I can put in, uh, so let me see, let me try to put in a three and a, an A, right? This will, this will use the referential integrity constraints just like a table would, right? You don't have to create, in this case, I'm gonna hit escape to get out of there. You don't have to create forms for associative entities because if you've created your relationships correctly, your ability to put data into the associative entity will be on the parent form. So in this case, I'm on student. I can use this subform down here where I have offering ID and grade to create offering records. Notice now if I go back to the student table and I open it up, there's John Smith. Okay, so the data entry form is working. So you will use this for all of your uh, parent tables. Should be a fair, uh, fairly quick process. Um, and then all you have to do is when you close it, you have to um, click yes uh, to save the table, uh, to save the form. I'm gonna do that with both of these. So now you can see under forms, I have an offering form and a student form. Uh, a good naming convention would have been to use Hungarian notation or something like that. I'm not going to get into that uh, for the purposes of this project. Uh, so this should suffice. Uh, so creating your data entry forms uh, for the database uh, should be a fairly uh, quick and easy process. And that is the end of my video lecture on data entry forms.